Hi, it's Kathy, and I am back with another episode of Fast and Fabulous on Friday. Uh, today is week two of my Picture Perfect birthday um, series of cards, and this one was cased from Tracy Bauer, who um, was part of a swap, and she used some different papers than I did, but uh, this was her idea for a card, and I just thought it was so cute. So this opens up this way, like this. Isn't that cute? So with this uh, candle paper, let me show you how to cut that first. Um, so I have the pieces here, and how this what this originally was, let's see if we can flip this around so it matches, is I cut the bottom three quarters of an inch off, and that left me with five and a quarter inches of height, which is what we need for our card. I then trimmed off a little bit, you can see here, a quarter of an inch from the end. And the reason I did that is it was just blank space. It didn't have any of the candles. And then I, this is one and seven eighths, and then this one is as well, one and seven eighths. So that's how you get those three pieces. A piece of five and a half inch by eight and a half inch berry burst uh, cardstock and it's scored on one side at two and an eighth and the reason you don't want to score both sides is that you won't always perfectly line up but if you do the one side you can press this down and then use the just fold this over and be able to press them right up against each other and get that perfectly lined up and then come back using your bone folder and secure down that other side. And that way your gatefold card is going to be perfectly aligned here in the center. So that's just a little tip for you. For the inside of the card, you'll need a piece of Whisper White that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. You'll need a piece of the lemon line twist that's cut with one of the stitch shaped circles that measures one and seven eighths inches. You'll need a scrap piece of Whisper White. You'll need two pieces of the, um, the ribbon that the Berry Burst 3 8 inch metallic edged ribbon that measure um, three and a half inches and then you'll want a piece of it measuring a little over five inches. And then finally, um, you're gonna want a piece of the blue, or you can do the white, um, the iridescent um, glitter paper out of the Occasions catalog. The, on this one, we did the, the uh, the um, iridescent and on this one we're going to go ahead and do the blue. Now if you were watching last week um, the uh, video from last week this centerpiece is the one that we used that I said was from another card the leftover and what I did is I took the scallop circle and the stitch shape circle and layered them and then taped them together with washi tape and ran it through and that way I could line it up. So this can be used on another project like I said and then you'll have this piece here. Okay so let's get stamping. So on the inside of the card I'm going to bring in a piece of fun foam to stamp on and on the inside I am going to stamp the happiest of birthdays to you in the Memento ink. Just like that. And then we're going to stamp some candles and I'm gonna to refer to this one so I can see exactly what colors I used and how they lined up. So I'll start with um, the little 
crosses and they're going to go straight up and down over here just like that oh and I got a little bit of a shadow there because I pressed too hard so let's start over real quick and won't press so hard this time We'll really quickly get that happiest of birthdays to you over here. There we go. And then with the black, I'm going to uh, do the striping of this. And I'm going to put it up near this top one because I want these candles to be fairly close in height up near the top. So I'll do that. I didn't get a very good stamping down at the bottom here. Let's see if I can... There we go. And then in the Bermuda Bay, I'm going to do the little dots. Just like that. Then I'll come back with the solid one and first in the lemon lime twist I'm going to stamp this one here like that and I'll really quickly clean that stamp and the next one will be in berry burst And that will go here. And then I'll clean one more time. And this time it will be in pool party. Now it looks like I didn't get my heights very straight this time. That's okay. It'll just be cascading down. And then finally I'm going to get some Daffodil Delight and my little flame and put that up on each of the candles and using the Smoky Slate or the Basic Gray whichever one you want, I'm going to go ahead and put um, the wick just like that. Okay, so then this strip needs to be cut down, but I'm going to go ahead and place it. And I see that I've placed these too high. So I'm going to squeeze that about right there. We're just going to have this be up a little higher. A little different look. Nobody will know, right? So we'll put this about right there. Trim that. At least trim straight, Kathy. some of the tear and tape and put that up here. Now if you didn't want to leave this white strip down here you could put another um, length of ribbon down there and hide it that way if you ended up doing the same thing I've just done. And take that off. Put a ribbon down. Oops. Okay. 
So I could decide to put another piece of ribbon down there, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And that'll go on the inside of my card. Yeah, I think it still looks good. Okay. So then we'll get the two strips of candles and what I did so that they kind of line up straight is because I have this craft mat down here is place them about that much distance from each other and then ran a piece of tear and tape longer than both of them just like that and then cut in between the two and now I know that they're both placed at the right height from each other and I'm going to put my ribbon around there just like that And then those can go on the front of my card. One over on this side. And one on the other. Okay, so now we're going to stamp in Berry Burst the Treat Yourself on this little circle. And we want it to be up near the top because we're going to have our party favor down low. So we'll stamp that like that. And just to make it kind of fun and celebratory, we're going to take the Lemon Lime Twist and the little tiny triangular confetti and just stamp around in a few spots just like that okay and now we need to make the party favor now what I found is working from this piece first and then to the fringe and then to the base is actually the easiest for me to line things up. So um, you can try that, see how it works for you, but that's what works best for me. So I'm going to take the Bermuda Bay and ink up the um, streamer portion like that and then the berry burst I actually don't like that stamping let me just get a little more ink again let's see if we can get a better inking that's better and then the little I don't know fringes and these are just really a challenge to line up. So I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. And then finally in the peekaboo peach. Okay, we're going to stamp the end of the streamer. Like that. And then finally, give it some stripes in the black. Like that. 
And then we'll have to fussy cut this out because we didn't end up with any dies for this one, but it's it's not a bad one to, to fussy cut. It doesn't take too much. Uh, so, but I'll go ahead and be quiet and do this real quickly and speed up the camera. Okay, there we go. Let's get that point off of there. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the front of the card. So you want to take your liquid glue and just do one side of your glimmer paper. And you're going to place that down here. Just make sure and check it and make sure you didn't get glue on the other portion. Let that set for a minute, hold it down. And then you're going to take this piece and put your glue on this side, this opposite side. And place this right down in the center because it's the same size as the piece you cut out. So you'll want to hold that down. So you can kind of hold them down together. Just make sure no glue came out the outside edges. And then this little guy is going to be put up on some dimensionals. And you want to make sure that you don't put them at the very end because that will be sticking out over here. And you don't want it sticking out and catching over here. So you want to put it down here and you can angle it a little bit if that helps. Just like that. And so then the card, that line's grabbing just a little bit. The card will open just like that. And there's your card. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Tracy, for uh, the idea for this card. I loved it so much that we made it in our class. Join me again next week for another Fast and Fabulous on Friday where we will make another card using this uh, Picture Perfect birthday set.